very, very special announcement this morning. On est ici tous et toutes pour une annonce importante et spéciale pour l'avenir du centre-ville d'Ottawa. I'm excited to be here with you this morning as I believe this really starts uh, looking at the future of our city, planning the future of our city. And uh, I'm glad to be here with my friend and, and colleague, uh, Yasser Nakvi, who really brought all of us together for uh, this special planning effort, this special envisioning effort. I crois vraiment que l'idée principale de l'annonce ce matin, c'est une idée qui regarde l'avenir du centre ville d'Ottawa, qui regarde l'avenir de notre ville. Si vous connaissez Yasser, Yasser est sur le terrain, travaille avec nous, travaille avec les résidents, travaille avec les entreprises, travaille avec les groupes. It is my pleasure to be with my friend and colleague, your local MP here in Ottawa Centre, Yasser Nagvi, to say a few words on this special announcement. Well, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, let me first by starting, uh, start by acknowledging that we're meeting here today on the unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabeg people. Uh, we are grateful for them for the opportunity to live, live on this important land. And the work that we are about, about, uh, about to embark on is important that indigenous voices and perspectives, cultural and history, is reflected in that work. And I will speak to that in a moment. Um, Matthew, thank you very much for uh, for introducing me and for, for agreeing to be the master of ceremonies. I want to thank you for your work that you've been doing as the uh, as a city councilor. I know you're not running again, uh, but uh, you have made a very important contribution uh, to the well-being of our city, and I very much look forward to continue working with you. Um, behind me, you will see a, a lot of really uh, uh, good friends of our community and important members of our community, both from the not-for-profit sector and for-profit sector from representing businesses and community members. And I'm uh, grateful to have uh, Neil Mulhotra, uh, who is the Vice President of Claridge Homes, uh, Graham Hussey, who is the President of Catco, joining us, uh, Mary Huang, President of Centertown Community Association, Su Ling Ching, who is the President and CEO of the Ottawa Board of Trade, Christine Ledman, Executive Director of Bank Street BIA. I think we are right standing on Bank Street BIA. Property Christine. Thank approval. you very much. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Kevin McHill, who's the, uh, the Executive Director of Sprock Street uh, BIA. John Thomas, who's the founder of Azure Urban Developments, and Christophe Rivet, who's the Director of Strategies for EVOP uh, Strategies. Uh, there are other uh, people who be, as part of this initiative as well who are unable to join us but I want to thank them in advance for agreeing to, uh, to participate. Over the past two years, COVID-19 and the pandemic that we have lived through have really changed our lives in so many ways. In fact, one of the most profound impact it has had is that it changed the dynamics of workplaces um, because of the pandemic and how we as community utilize a lot of the spaces that we are called as home or as our offices. Office employees now working from home to prevent the unnecessary spread of illness no longer walk our downtown streets. Local businesses and shops who once relied on the foot traffic related to tens of thousands of people who used to walk these uh, streets as office employees uh, working downtown are struggling to find customers. Hotels which were once overflowing with business travelers who needed to be in Ottawa for meetings are now sidelined as virtual meetings and conferences have become more normal. And our LRT system that was originally designed to bring office workers from our suburbs to the downtown core is now operating with a fraction of ridership it was originally intended to support. Downtown Ottawa has fundamentally changed and frankly there is no going back to our pre-pandemic growth. Hybrid work is here to stay, and it's our job to adapt to this reality, not to lament how, how things were better in the pre-pandemic days, but find ways to reintegrate, to reimagine our downtown core. My concern as a member of parliament for Ottawa Center is that without finding ways to bring people back to the downtown core, we may descend into a state of disrepair 
very similar to what we saw, for example, in Detroit in the 1990s. People are the source of revitalization, and we need to bring our community together to focus on how we can reimagine downtown Ottawa as a people's first community. That's why I am really excited to today, standing alongside these great community and business leaders, announce the creation of a task force to propose and create new innovative and creative ideas for downtown Ottawa's short and long-term revitalization. The downtown Ottawa revitalization task force involved involves over a dozen community, business, and government partners who have a keen interest in reimagining downtown Ottawa for the better. It's critical that we take a deep look at the future of our downtown with all of the interested parties around the same table. Harness all their ideas, put them together so that we can then advocate as to what a new downtown Ottawa could look like. We know, for example, that our community needs more housing, more affordable and social housing. There is a real opportunity here to look at some of the unused office space and convert them for that housing purposes. We need more active transportation space uh, so that people can easily commute within the downtown core. And we need new and exciting social spaces to people bring people back to downtown, whether they are from other parts of Ottawa, taking the LRT to visit our many small businesses like restaurants and shops, or tourists who want to come and take in the tourist attraction like the parliament uh, buildings, there is an opportunity for us to do something different. We're talking about things like building retrofits, new community support, and active transportation infrastructure. We all as members of the community want to collectively bring back life back to the area, this area, and we have a constructed a group of community leaders with the knowledge and expertise to, to just do that. Our task force will be meeting multiple, multiple occasions over coming months to brainstorm and develop solutions. These solutions will then be passed along to different levels of government for their consideration. There is going to be a new council and a new mayor not in a long to distance, there's a great opportunity to be able to advocate those ideas with our new city council. The federal government is involved in a strategic review looking at many of its facets of operations. I think there's an opportunity to engage the federal government as to how we can repurpose a lot of the office spaces in downtown Ottawa. In my view, this is the beginning of a long road to renewal for downtown Ottawa. But I believe we focus on people first. We need to bring people back to our downtown as a catalyst for that renewal and that's how we are going to be successful as we rebuild beyond this pandemic. Once again I want to thank all of you for your participation. I know you're all very busy but we've had many conversations along with members of community and we all want to do something different and better and this is our opportunity to engage in that conversation to create those ideas and push forward in a, a reimagined downtown Ottawa that's thriving with people again. Thank you, and I will pass back uh, to Matthew uh, for the next speakers. Merci beaucoup. Merci à Sir. J'aimerais aussi ajouter ma collègue Catherine McKenney, qui est la conseillère du quartier, qui qui soigne nous aussi ce matin, qui va faire partie du du groupe. De, de repenser le centre-ville. J'aimerais souligner certains des éléments qui assurent vient de soulever. Évidemment, on a un centre-ville qui a besoin d'attention, qui a besoin d'une vision. Ce sur quoi il assure soulève, c'est évidemment l'importance de rassembler les partenaires, les propriétaires, les commerçants, les résidents pour penser et planifier l'avenir du centre-ville d'Ottawa. Donc, il assure, je te félicite de lancer la revitalisation et l'effort. I'd now like to pass over the mic to one of the co-chairs. He was introduced by, uh, by Yasir. I'd like to introduce um, Graham Assi, who is the co-chair of the Downtown Ottawa Revitalization Task Force. And I'm looking down to make sure that I get 
the official name of the task force, right? So Graham, please come and take the mic and share a few words. Thank you, uh, Councillor Fleury, and also McKenney, and of course, thank you to uh, MP Yasser and Acme for inviting me to participate as one of the co-chairs for the Downtown Ottawa Revitalization Task Force. My name is Graham Hussey. I'm the president of CADCO. We're a non-profit real estate development corporation based in Ottawa that helps non-profits, charities, and cooperatives create affordable housing all across Ottawa. And as the others have said, this task force represents an opportunity to come together at this moment when there's a great need for affordable housing and other programs for low, for low and moderate income people uh, and help at the same time revitalize the downtown Ottawa core. Uh, there is a dire need for affordable and social housing across the city and in particular in the downtown core. You can see that on the street as we walk here this morning. And with the continued adaptation of hybrid work, the impacts of the pandemic, we can see the opportunities in front of us to come together and work to revitalize the core and help provide for everybody in the community. With more housing across the downtown core, will help to create a 15 minute neighborhood within the downtown core, and that will help to put more people on the street, create a vitalization, put more people onto the trains, and more tourists coming back to downtown. I'm so excited to kick off the task force with my co-chair, Neil Mahotra. We're looking forward to working together with all the other participants on the task force to come together to solutionize. I'm looking forward to presenting ideas on how to create more affordable and social housing. And with that, Merci Graham, thank you. It's great to see strong presence from different parts of our community, different sectors of our community. And as you've heard from the non-for-profit housing through Graham, it's also important to have the for-profit uh, and property ownership uh, voice at the table of the task force. I would now like, now like to pass the mic over to Neil Malhotra from Claridge Home to say a few words. Thank you, Councillor Fleury, and thank you, uh, Yasser, for uh, bringing this group together. Uh, my name is Neil Mahatra. I'm the Vice President and CFO of Claridge Homes. Claridge has been involved in residential development in downtown Ottawa for nearly 40, 40 years, uh, and including a diverse range of, of uh, housing for various socioeconomic, uh, uh, from social housing in the early 80s to, to uh, currently developing rental housing with CMHC throughout the downtown port. The task force is an exciting opportunity to engage with the government, the business community, and the community members around the important ways we can move forward to make downtown Ottawa a much more enjoyable place to live in and socialize in. There's so much potential for the downtown in this transitional period to build back with a grand vision for our future. Ottawa is a, cap is, is a G7 capital and our downtown tourist district must reflect that back. There's so many opportunities downtown to build more housing, stimulate the economy, and develop new innovative spaces for residents and tourists alike to enjoy. The task force we're announcing today is taking that first step by getting everybody around one table to see what the what is possible. I look forward to being part of this group and bringing forth new ideas to get people, more people into downtown Ottawa during the daytime. And with that, I'd like to hand back to Councillor Fleury. Thank you very much. Alors, ceci conclut euh, la, por la portion formelle euh, de l'annonce ce matin. We're, we're here to take a few questions from the media, but before I, I want to bring a summary to uh, the Downtown Revitalization Task Force efforts. Really, it's our Yasser is empowering all of us to come together, have an important conversation on the future of downtown. We are empowered to bring together the various voices so that we can plan together what our downtown looks like and, and its future looks like. So Yasser, thank you for bringing us all together and creating the Downtown Revitalization Task Force. We all know that if we compare our body, the heart of our body is so important to feed our entire body. Well, that, that's our downtown. Let's make, it, let's make sure that our heart is strong, it's healthy, and I believe that the task force certainly has, uh, has that clear mandate and vision. So thank you for bringing us all together and, and thanks to all our leaders who are with us this morning participating in the task force. We'd now like uh, and open it up for a few uh, media questions. I'll be the moderator. I'll, I'll invite the... Uh